Well, hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Christine. This is a weekly reading that I'm going to be offering you and it's a general reading um, for Gemini. And as you know, with general readings, it's important that you just take what fits and leave what does not fit. Um, so I'd like to see what the cards say for you. And if you've been to my channel before, you'll notice that I switch cameras. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. Um, lovely to see you here. Um, this week is this reading is for the week starting Saturday the 10th through to Friday the 16th. Um, and Friday the 16th brings a new moon for us in Libra. So if you like what you see in this channel. Um, please subscribe so you get the notification for future readings and also um, I'm doing a new moon in Libra surprise if you like <laughs> so I'm just shuffling up I'm using the Rider Waite deck it's the Pam's Vintage Tarot deck based by Game made by Game Crafter and I'm just going to switch cameras here now so you can see me shuffling away um, so what's in the cards for Gemini? And normally an astrologer's spread is done in a wheel, but I've been doing them in a square for quite some time now on another platform. And I find um, because of this working space, it works well. And it also lets me incorporate other cardamancy techniques that I um, like to use. So here we have our cards. And it's interesting for Gemini this week. You're starting out with sort of wanting to sort of think, what can I learn? What could I study? There's messages coming through for you about money. And also, there's also a young person coming um, that will be in contact with you with um, who's sort of very hardworking and sort of a little bit sporty. And uh, they've got some ideas as well. So there'd be sort of a nice uh, energy to be around. Uh, so at the moment, um, you have this atmosphere around you of, I'm wanting to bring in some extra money. Is there something I need to learn to sort of upskill to do that? or um, draw in skills from the past that you have, like existing transferable skills, or, or do I actually need to go and put in and do a course and learn something new in the meantime. But getting back to how I'm starting this, we start the week here with thinking about what to learn, and then ending our week, we're here thinking, well, this is what I need to do to feel secure, and um, I have this sort of being able to sort of Secure myself, if you like, Gemini. Um, particularly with in um, we'll do the rest of the cards, but I'm sort of picking up that this, this is around the area of work for you. So um, that's this, this spread with the finances. Looking at the ten of um, coins here, money getting coming out is with family and friends and also if you're looking for a way to earn money perhaps networking is a good way to sort of help you pick up some work if that's what you want to do and also in these challenging times being around being around the people that we love and value uh, f whether friends or family is what's going to sort of hold us together and it's going to give us that sort of thing that whilst it's sort of um, this is a in the money part of the spread uh, with the finance in, in house too it's also what we value and that gives us this really good sense of security to just know that there are people that we know like and trust that we can be about from you can expect to hear news from a woman um, who's quite well off and there's an offer coming for you so and you can expect to hear news from this person and you'll be having quite a lot of Seems to me this week, Gemini, you, there'll be a lot of conversations about money and security and what you need to sort of have money, but also have a bit of a nest egg put away um, in case what's around the next corner. We um, worked in a time of just 
just in time and um, that's a Japanese philosophy of um, manufacturing but it's it's still a philosophy that you do this just in time and we're now in a mindset of I need to do this just in case so there's that little bit put aside yes I have that maybe you're putting a little bit aside for the future or a little bit aside to make any changes that you want to make in um, your life in the next um, future this reading is a reading for a week but um, Generally, my readings go um, from one to three months, but this is a weekly spread, the time frame I've put on this spread. You get a good sense of belonging when you feel free to be able to knock back what anything you don't want. You are someone who doesn't sort of want to be um, thinking, well, uh, I don't want this, I don't want this pushed on me. So uh, this is a very good thing. There's also someone coming into the home with an offering for you. And feel free with this card to say, no, I think I'll hold and take, see what else comes along. Because um, you're reasonably set off in the home. You've got um, the home set up the way that you want it, Gemini. And um, this new offers just may not be what you want. So you think, oh, I think I'll sit tight and see for something better to, that can come along for that. You have a talent for socialising and a lot of times it's socialising with people that are like-minded and fellow healers. So expect this week to be a little bit of um, socialising. You're also learning lessons of dealing with people that you're not used to dealing with um, that are not like-minded so there's new people coming into your life and you may for some of you um, you may uh, find that uh, you experience a quite a social um, time and if you're single you might sort of find that you um, are sort of presented with a, a little bit of an affair or an extremely good social time so um, the best way to look after yourself is to know that you have all the skills and talents that you need to get through whatever it is you need to get through this week. So you can look after your mind and um, you can look after your finances, uh, security, you can deal with any troubles that come your way and also you can... Uh, deal with you anything that happens at work so you're in a pretty good position of being able to sort of look after yourself with that <clears throat> relationships are important to you this week and you're actually attracted to in life you reach that point where you just want to be around someone who you know like and trust and there's a very strong connect if you're not with someone you're attracted to some of uh, someone where it's just like it all flows very nicely for you there's no need for um any sort of relationships that are hard work things will be flowing and that's um important to you you could find also that someone that you thought you knew very well is sort of going to do some um, behaviour that's sort of out of their character and uh, that sort of leaves you thinking mm, uh, are they doing that to me personally or is it just something that they are going through so just trust that it's something that they are going through this week there was something new that happened recently and it's coming to an end and um, through that um, you find that if you've been really busy connecting with people, heavily socialising and everything, Gemini, which can happen, um, it's just sort of coming to an end and there's a break for you. And if you have been socialising a hell of a lot, um, you just need to make this change. You need to think, well, what's important? I need to sort of have my home as my sanctity and then work out from there because the cards are suggesting that you've had quite a little bit of a hectic time leading up to this. And now it's sort of coming to be to an end with that. Well, relationships do give you special meaning in life. Connecting with people, 
communicating with people, sorting things out with people and helping people is what gives you meaning for life. And I see you um, evaluating with those two cards together um, what's important, what gives me value um, at this point in time. And it's about relationships for you, Gemini. At work, there's someone at work um, that's a male, air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarian, who's sort of trying to sort of take charge a lot at work. And there's a few pointed conversations happening at work for you. And this is what leads to thinking, well, maybe it's time I upskilled a little bit so I can go move into another department with that. So um, expect um, a few tensions at work, perhaps a, some sort of boss is riding you for targets and things like that. And that leads you to think, mm, there's got to be something else out there I shall look. You have friends. And once again, there's a female friend um, in your life, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarian woman. And she's um, about to move somewhere. And so uh, you can get some news from that. She's very focused and um, astute. And she uh, is telling you that this is what she hopes to do. She's hoping to move house and move in with some other people and that what's going to work for her. And you could find that you end up helping her to do that. You yourself hope to be able to connect more with this person. So if they're moving away from you, then you want to be able to stay in touch with them. So that's sort of a, um, an energy for this week for you. You can draw your strength with the conflict at work and this think I need to look what else is out there and uh, thinking you know um, there's got to be more than this maybe I need to get some new skills um, um, look for alternatives to work this you can draw strength from knowing that you have past experience and being able to make yourself feel secure and you can negotiate anything well because you're um, you can draw strength from your Good negotiation skills because remember Gemini you are a communicator you are the communicator of the zodiac so there's your cards for this week thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next video bye for now